Yes, I know that name probably sounds a bit airy fairy, a little bit like uh, unicorns, rainbows, and marshmallows. But let's be completely honest. Uh, so many people in the industry of business ownership, entrepreneurship, want to promise the world they over deliver. Rarely, and that's the unfortunate part. As the picture, the uh, thing up there below, above. Over my shoulder says it's all about delivery. And right now, let's jump in about the art of doing and not just saying. As I said just before, the art of doing, not just saying, is one that so many business owners and entrepreneurs actually uh, fundamentally fail. And it's something that's really simple, but it's also something, uh, in fact, I'm just going to quote uh, Yoda, uh, the great, I was going to say the great man, but not really man, great uh, Yoda, the sensei. He said, do or do not, there is no try. And it literally is exactly what we're talking about right now. The ability to say something and always do it is of utmost important importance if you want to be successful in business. See, here's the thing. You've got team members. They don't ultimately care what you say. What they do care about is what you do, what you deliver, what you actually follow through with. So, We've all heard it a thousand times over. Let's not kid ourselves. I'm, what I'm saying right now is not something new that you're going, oh my gosh, I've never heard that before, because you have. But it's probably the reality check and the tap on the shoulder that you need right now to just remind yourself the fact that you can say a lot of things to your team, to your business partners, to, you know, you can call them staff if you want for the, for the context of this conversation, even though they're team, not staff. But you can say a lot of things. You can promise what you want. You can try and tap dance quickly when you put under pressure a deer in the headlights in awkward conversations, crucial conversations, all these different things. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it's about what you do. It's about you delivering. It's all about a picture over my shoulder there up on the wall that says deliver, right? It's about you serving. And so if people don't really care about what you say, because ultimately they don't, um, it's very similar to your own business logo. The only person that cares about your business logo is you, all right, and your mum, right? And that's all nice and great, but no one else cares. So don't put your logos and stuff like that at the top of marketing paraphernalia because it's the worst thing you can do. No one cares about your logo except you and your mum. But if your mum's the target market, then great, go ahead and do that. So here's the thing. What if we were to actually say less but always deliver more? What if we didn't just always try and talk first and think later, which a lot of the time business owners do? Now, I've been guilty of this many a times over the years, and it's something I've had to work on very hard. I'm going to be completely honest. I'll wear my heart on my sleeve, and I'll tell you that it's one of my biggest failings, one of the biggest things that I've had to be learning over the last probably two or three years. The fact that when you might get into a crucial conversation or a difficult or awkward scenario, it's always best to think before talking, not talking before thinking. See, most managers, most business owners, entrepreneurs like to think that they're in control, like to believe that we've got a solution, a team member comes with a problem or you know, there might be a little bit of angst, a little bit of pushback on something and we start to just talk. We go, oh no, because of this, we try and justify it. Oh, well, blah, blah, and away we go. Now, that's all good and well, but all the person is hearing is blah, 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 and a whole lot of promises that we rarely do keep. Now, this does come back to uh, integrity, but it also comes down to the fact that if you are completely honest with yourself right now, you would know that there have been things in the last couple of days, the last week, the last month that you've said will be done or that you will get done today. I'll take care of that tomorrow. Let's do that and let's chat about it before lunchtime tomorrow. Hey, no, leave it with me. It'll be done in the next week. All of these different things we say to our team members, we say to ourselves. Yet so many times 
we don't follow through. So here's the scenario right now. We're promising a lot. We're saying a lot. We're trying to defend ourselves and say that we've got integrity and self-worth, and we do, but we also must admit right now the truth that we're actually letting ourselves down and we're actually saying more and doing less. And so what I'm challenging you right now is to actually flip that around. Let's flip that around so we don't promise near as many things until we start to deliver on each and every one of them. That's how we can truly serve, which is what we should be doing to our clients and the communities around us. We should be serving more and not so much worrying about trying to promise everything about the meal, but instead let's actually serve what we promise we're going to in the first place. Let's not go a little bit silly and realize that ultimately we're not delivering all the time when we, when we should be. So that's the first part. The second part, how do we make this happen? Well, self-accountability of business owners and entrepreneurs uh, is the first fundamental aspect. I mean, it's the fir first step, the first chapter in my book from about five or six years ago from my first Amazon bestseller. Um, and that self-accountability is something that it just isn't there with so many people when it comes down to business mentality and entrepreneurship. And that's not because they're bad people or they're doing anything wrong, but it is because we always allow ourselves as the business owner to be let off the hook. We just go, oh, it's been a long day. I'll do it tomorrow. Like I'm actually cutting this podcast late in the afternoon and I wasn't meant to be doing it right now. But I made sure it got done. Why? Because I made a promise to my videographer and my sound guys that they would actually have it this afternoon. And it was meant to be done earlier. A few things happened. It didn't. But I'm a man of my worth and I didn't want to let my team down. I didn't want to let down what I'd said against my word several hours ago. So I'm getting it done now. And so one of the biggest things right now for me is being able to turn around and know that I'm delivering on every single thing that I'm saying. And here's the challenge. Is that something that you're able to do right now as well? Now, I'm not saying I've got it right, and I'm not saying I'm the grand poo bar messiah of these things because I'm not. I'm the first one to admit that. But what if every time we said we're going to deliver something, we actually put it on a post note, stuck it up on the wall? And we made sure that it got done before we left that day or that week, etc. We use things like Trello. We actually have things in place on a Trello as an electronic board. And I literally have to work off a thing called Trello Zero. So I don't finish my day until I get those things done that I need to get done. Why? Because I have the integrity and the self-accountability to make sure that I get those things done. Now, if that doesn't mean that I'm working the candle at both ends for 18 hours a day and letting people down and not seeing my family and my team, etc., that's not. That's rubbish. It's about managing your diary. It's about managing your tasks and your time and realizing that you are uh, dispensable and that you need to have a better team. You learn more avenues in and around leverage. And so you start to remove yourself and reverse facilitate a lot of things happening in the business that don't actually revolve around you. And so this is the catalyst of how you can actually remove yourself from the business, how you can actually ultimately start saying less, doing more, and ultimately creating a scenario where you're then going to be doing less. And that's ultimately what it's about. I didn't get into my business. I've got six of them at the moment. I'm selling out of one uh, and I'm reducing some of my input in two of the others. I didn't get into business to work like a blue ass fly and lose my life and family and friends and things like that. So why would I place myself in a position to do that? I want to place myself in a position where I've got accountability and I am empowered to make the decisions in the right way at the right time. I want to be empowered to make sure that I have that integrity to deliver on what I say I'm going to do. And so my team do as well and they know it and they feel it. So as a net result, I know that I need to create momentum. I need to create momentum so that if I do it on a, say I'm going to do something, it goes on a post note on the wall and I go through from there or it goes into my Trello board and I'm going to get it done. Why? Because that's part of who I am. And so you fundamentally make that promise to yourself and you stick by it, which means you've got that integrity and self-worth to hold your head high and know that you've done a damn good job because everything that you said you'd do, you delivered on and you served amazingly. As a net result, you'll actually start to realize that that's going to make you really busy. 
but it forces you to get the momentum to delegate more, to create more leverage, to systematize and automate. And as a net result, you start to actually do less. So it's actually a mentality that we need to stop and really understand as a business owner and an entrepreneur is the fact that we need to be able to deliver on everything, on time, all the time. And if that means that we can't promise the world all the time, that's okay. And people are going to understand and they're going to respect that, but they also will understand that you would deliver. And that becomes powerful because when people know you can say less, you can promise less, but you always deliver above and beyond and faster than what they expected in the first place, it's going to mean more momentum, more growth, more leverage and delegation, more systems, more teams. And as a net result, you're going to have a much greater impact, so much more growth, so much more scale. And ultimately, every time you do this or every week that you do this, you're actually going to remove yourself a little bit further away from the coalface, which means, again, you're running a bigger organization. You're starting to act and live like a CEO, which means, again, you can have more growth and scale. You can go off and look at other opportunities. You can go and have more fun with family and friends, kids, etc. You can travel more. You can go and do all of these things and have a much greater impact as a net result. But it all starts by identifying the fact that we need to sometimes say less, we need to always deliver more, and that is the art of how you're going to create more uh, accountability, more momentum, and as a net result, you're going to actually start doing a lot less uh, and getting a lot more as a net result. Go and get stuck in. It's a mentality you need to get around. It's something you need to work on. We all need to be accountable to it. We need to hold ourselves to the highest level to make this happen. As a net result, we make magic happen each and every day. I'll talk to you again very soon. Hey guys, thank you very much for listening to another episode of the Profitable Practice Podcast. I would love nothing more than for you to be able to leave a review. I get so much joy out of listening and reading the amazing things that you guys say about this. So please subscribe to our channel, leave a review and share it with your friends. Let's get some more fantastic information out there so all of us can grow the industry together. Cheers for now.